So, Train Station introduces this thing called not having minute long cutscenes in between levels. An important thing to note about the first screen is that all of the obstacles start on a cycle when you enter the screen, so doing it optimally to avoid everything is pretty difficult. We are going to use the fire to destroy the green bubbles and get ahead of some of these green balls. Start out with a forward boost and aim between these set of bubbles. Turn around and drop below you, shooting the fire to destroy the bubbles and fall beneath. Remember that the fire travels along surfaces, that's why you can hit the bubbles beneath you. Boost again after dropping through, turn around once you get past this set, and start shooting left. After killing the top bubble here, take a step back otherwise you can't destroy the bubble you're standing on to drop through. Switch to the quad to destroy this rolling ball, then boost after dropping off the ledge. If you did everything correctly, you'll have no problem boosting across these platforms and getting between the orange drops. Use the quad to kill these two enemies and land in front of the spike patch, then jump over it. Clear out the bubble with the quad while killing the sea anemone and its spawns. Kill this one too and the two eels. For here, it's mostly important to kill the dead fish and the eels, although I kill the anemone on the ground. As you're rising up at the end, shoot up to kill the last eel. You're supposed to land on these walking platforms, but I mess up here and miss the second one. More mash and shoot in between boosts in order to kill these crabs. This part is really precise. Jump from this point and boost right as you get past the first purple enemy. That should land you on the platform across the water. This is a really easy mini boss. Kill the eels as you descend onto him and break his antenna by landing on it. Then drop down to the right side and stand under the right jet and fire upwards. Then kill the other one. Then just camp his hitbox for the rest of the fight. Collect the coins if you need to rebuy the heart jar by this point. It's important to fire here in order to aggro the anemone to shoot its dead fish at you early, otherwise they'll get in the way. Do the same thing for this anemone here, but firing upwards, then just ascend to the surface. We don't need anything at this shop. Mash the quad to clear out the riffraff at the beginning of this train. After that, start using the boost to go faster, while shooting to kill the remaining crabs. Platforming... Destroy the light fixture with the quad, otherwise it will fall on you. It's important to know that the spiders in this area move very randomly, and reacting to them properly takes practice. Passing over or under them generally causes them to fall towards you, switching sides between the floor and the ceiling. If you're closer, they'll shoot purple fire at you. So, we boost over the first spider, then onto the trash can's head. Then you can boost under the last two spiders. Switch to the repeater in the elevator, then fire one shot upon exiting to make that spider switch. Boost under these spiders and onto this platform, then boost onto the trash can again. Now on this table, when the spider is right next to it, you're supposed to drop off and instantly boost forward over the spider, but I pressed jump too early here and jumped instead, but it works out perfectly fine. There are some coins and a heart in this locker over here, just watch out for the trash can. There are more coins in these lockers over here, but again, you really should only pick them up if you need to rebuy the heart jar. Coming up is the clock boss, which if you've seen a speedrun of this game before, you probably know that the strategy is absurd, but absurd in a good way of course. I made a pretty detailed tutorial already on this boss, and cutting and pasting it into this video would take up over half the video length, so I'll just link to it instead, and let you watch what it looks like normally.
so that's the train station and that's gonna wrap it up for this video so we'll just get a look at what the full run through looks like again and i'll see you for the final level